Hello everybody, this is Bloody Sword here yet again with another StarCraft 2 replay loss analysis video. Going to be looking at a game that I played a couple hours ago. It's going to be a TVT on New Crick Redevelopment Precinct, I believe this map is called again. And again, I'm going to be spawning as the blue Terran player at the bottom right. This game, I'm going to be losing to some Banshee pressure. I did like this all-in-esque thing, and I feel like that was a big mistake on my part. And it wasn't um, all-in per se, I wanted to harass with Banshees and I felt like I needed tanks to properly transition out of it and not die to early pressure. So um, anyway, I'm going to be speeding up this game because the beginning again is pretty boring. I open up with a 13 refinery and besides that nothing too out of the ordinary. I'm eventually going to be starting this orbital command as my FPS completely dies on me for a second there. I open up with this one scouting SCV. Okay, I can't. My computer. It just can't. So. I open up with this scouting SCV and it is going to go to my opponent's base. He's not going to see an expansion and I try and pop into his base. I know for a fact that when I go up into his base I see something building but I was not able to click on it fast enough. So I'm going to be assuming that it is going to be a factory. So anyway, he is getting up his second gas. I should be getting up my second gas as well. Only two or er, ten workers on the mineral line and going to be constantly producing those. I'm going to be floating over my factory over here so I can build that starport. Going to be getting up the banshees as fast as possible. I could do something cheeky with the factory and the starport over here, but I feel like without doing critical, critical amounts of damage, then it's going to be putting me quite far behind because I'm not going to be able to produce anything out of this factory. Starport is going to be landed on top of this tech lab and going to be starting cloaking fields immediately shortly after I should be starting a banshee on his side of the map. He is also going to be doing the exact same thing. Whose banshee is slightly ahead? I believe his might be. Yeah, my it looks like my cloak is a little bit faster, but um, his banshee is a little bit faster. So, anyway, I have a reactor, so does he. He's going to be building a tech lab, so am I. So, pretty much we have identical builds here. My supply is slightly ahead of his, and I'm also going to be having an engineering bay. Does he have an engineering bay? No, he doesn't. So, um, I just figured that, that he could be doing something crazy with banshees. So, just in case I do have this engineering bay, I feel like I should have just built the missile turret since I was scared of what he could do anyway. He's going to be doing a lot of kiting action with this, and with it, how many workers has he killed? He's killed eight workers already, and that is just a ridiculous amount. I didn't start my... Uh, I started a second banshee, but I needed to build that raven, so it is going to be getting up to 12 kills before I'm able to do too much. I throw down my banshee, and it is not going to be doing nearly, nearly as much damage as he is since he already goes into my base, sees what's up, and I'm, I believe he already killed one of my banshees for free, and I'm just so far behind in this game. He's caught up to me in supply, and there's nothing I can do. I lost another banshee, and this was a critical mistake. I knew that I was behind. I knew that I lost a lot of units, but I felt like I needed to make something happen, and apparently that uh, auto turret was blocking his units. So, I, in the army tab, let's just look here. I'm 10 supply behind, it's nothing too big in uh, TVT. I siege up my tanks, and he already has a pretty decent concave, but I thought that, that the tanks would be enough. But, um, just slowing down this battle. Tanks do not that much damage. The AI was kind of messed up because he placed that auto turret, and he, uh, one of the tank fires was lost and completely wasted. So, I have this second orbital command, but he has his orbital on the way. He's transitioning with an additional barracks, and I just don't have any units anymore to defend. I have a tank on the way, and I still have this Raven, but um, I guess I might have been able to defend it. I think I might have GG too early. If I just, especially since he's not uh, rallying units across the map, if I just kept the high ground with this tank and just reinforced with marines. I think I would have been in a pretty good spot, especially since I have plus one on the way and my expansion is earlier than his. Mm, I think I might have been okay, but two tanks against one and these marines with this medevac and banshee, it's going to be a pretty hard hold. I have a medevac on the way, but it's. I felt like it wasn't going to be enough. The army tab... Uh, yeah, I guess I wasn't that far behind, but... Anyway, that is going to be that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, things to really learn from. If I'm going to spend all this money on an engineering bay, and if I figure that he's going to go be 
going for banshees. I should just build this missile turret. I had 400 minerals anyway. Um, the command center, I threw it on the low ground earlier, and then he had a banshee, so I had to cancel it and throw it in the main high ground. So again, just placing the CC high ground. Unless I have some way of defending it, in which point I, in this case, I didn't. So that's going to be that. Barracks and just staying defensive, you know, when you lose a lot of units. There's times when you can be aggressive, but that was not one of those times. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And